Well, on this Groundhog Day, he did see his shadow, not only in our viewing area, but out officially in Pennsylvania. Supposedly, that means six more weeks in winter, though there's no real strong correlation between the Groundhog seeing his shadow and the weather uh, for the upcoming end of winter and into spring. Certainly wintry over the weekend, though. Uh, pretty much along and north of 24, 8 to 12 inches of snow. Fowler towards Pine Village, 5 to 8, 5 to 8 around Chalmers, Brookston, northern Carroll County. Four and a half here at the station, five officially at the Purdue Ag Farm west of town. And then a strip here from Frankfort to Atlanta of 5 to 8. And then everyone else down south, 3 to 5 Attica. And only 2.2 inches at Crawfordsville. The lake effect clouds are hanging on over part of the viewing area, and there are a couple of flurries, but these will exit, and the clouds will get out of here tonight with temperatures currently running in the teens largely, 14 Lafayette, 16 Monticello, but 21 at Crawfordsville. Tonight, though, as the wind starts to turn to the southwest, we'll probably hit our low temperature at near midnight around 8 with wind chills below zero, then rise to 13 by 7 a.m. in the morning. Two clippers to watch and what will be a pretty windy week around here. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and then another one Wednesday late afternoon evening and a Wednesday night. The second one stronger than the first. Then a brief secondary Arctic blast coming in late in the week with some rain mixed with snow by the weekend. Now notice the lows tonight. There's the 7 at Delphi, 3 Logansport, 8 Lafayette, 10 Crawfordsville. But again, these numbers rising midnight, 1 a.m., and after warmer tomorrow, 24 Winnemac, 28 at Delphi, 29 Lafayette, but even 33 at Covington and about 30 degrees at Kirkland, 28 Burlington. As this little clipper right here approaches, that's pretty weak. Stronger wind is here and this will move in after the first wind. So tonight, some increasing clouds and certainly increasing clouds tomorrow. It'll be mostly cloudy by late in the day. And then late tomorrow night into Wednesday, a little clipper brushes through our northern counties, pretty much uh, near and north of U.S. 24, some snow. And then the second one will come in once we get towards late Wednesday and into Wednesday night. Notice here by late Wednesday evening, I do think there will be some snow that comes in. Now notice snowfall accumulations. This is uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Again, it's that U.S. 24 corridor north or an inch or less. There may be a little over an inch up towards Rochester. And finally, the second stronger clipper, about a one to two inch snow area wide. 70 forecast looks pretty wintry, though a little bit of a roller coaster ride from 11 on Thursday and five below on Friday morning to 32 in the afternoon. Brief but pretty sharp warm up for the weekend. Highs around 37. Some rain ending as some snow on Sunday. There could be a little very minor accumulation from that before we are back to 24 on Monday. So this is kind of a slap in the face. Winter is back and going <laughs> to hang yeah. on for a while. A little more snow on the way. Yeah, those snowfall totals all over the map, weren't they? Oh, absolutely. You know what really cut the totals in the south? Sleet and rain cut those. That's why there's only one to three there. But up north, wow. Yeah. 12.5 inches near the mom. They got socked. All right. Thanks, yeah. Chad. Just ahead, milk sales in the